Hey guys, I, I hope you're all well. I wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk about total hip replacement and specifically the components or the parts we use to rebuild a hip. You know, just like with arthritis of any joint, the problem with hip arthritis is bone on bone. And what we wanna do is put artificial parts metal and plastic in between so there's no bone rubbing up against bone because many of you know how very very painful that is so i brought this model along to talk about it there are four parts to a hip replacement uh, two are metal and then you have a head ball and a plastic liner i'll show you all that in a second Let, let's talk first about rebuilding the femoral side the thigh bone uh, side so, so this represents the top of the thigh bone the top of the femur and what we do in hip replacement is remove the damaged head ball. Remember, that's the head ball that the cartilage is gone and it's bone on bone. So we remove the damaged head ball. You can see in this model that the center of the bone is hollow, and that's just like your bone is too, mine is too. And so what we do is we put a metal piece, the femoral component, okay, the thigh bone component, a metal piece in the center of the bone, and we actually most commonly press that into the bone. So it's a real tight fit. And then over time, you notice this coloration here, the surface of the piece of metal is roughened. So your bone grows into this part. That metal part becomes part of you. Um, so, so that's the thigh bone part or the femoral component. You can see on top of that, there's a ball and this one's pink. I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. Now, now the ball rubs up, against, rubs up against the liner, but the ball can be made out of metal it can be made out of ceramic. This one is a pink color indicating a, a, a ceramic head ball. And actually, most of the ceramic head balls that we use are a certain type of ceramic called Delta Ceramic, and they are in fact pink. Now, I might mention that to my female patients, but I don't mention that to my male patients, even though it's true. Um, now, that, that's the femur side. So we have those two parts. We have the metal piece in the femur, and we have the head ball on top. That can be metal, or in this case, ceramic. Then we get to the cup side. So this is the pelvis side. And you can see in this model, there's essentially a hole or a, a bowl shape area of the acetabulum. So what we do is we take specialized in instruments to make sure that that's nice and smooth. And then we place a metal, again, notice the discoloration. This is a roughened surface. We place a metal shell into the pelvis. Again, oftentimes we press it into bone. And you'll notice there, there's that plastic liner. That's your new bearing surface. That's the new tread on your tire, if you will. So, so that represents the bearing surface. So, so there are two parts, a metal shell and a plastic liner. And then once we're done, we put them all back together. Again, you remember the problem with hip replacement is, the problem in hip replacement is we're solving there being bone on bone. So instead of bone on bone, there is metal and plastic in between. You know, everybody wants to know how, how, how do the parts, how, how are they held together? Well, they're not really. The hip replacement is kept into place by the muscles around the hip. That's why physical therapy is, is so very important. So hip replacement is four components, four parts. You saw that we rebuild both sides of the joint. I hope that's helpful. Um, feel free to share the video. Uh, if there's someone that has questions, reach out if we can help in any way. Uh, God bless.